Can we see the skins? Like, I actually need to say I like Waifu skin. Not gonna lie. So first of all, we have beautiful KOB, Arika's Waifu. And this one, Waifu. I don't know why. I think it looks okay. Like, I'd say it's an upgrade. Like, sh she's fine like this. Like, she looks happy. Yes, she is a furry. Yes. I'm, I'm gonna tell you a story. After this PV, I'm gonna tell you a story. So, we're gonna have... It looks great. Uh, I'm excited for Golden Glow. Anyway, guys. I'm telling you a story about furries. I told this before, but I think I never told you guys the entire story. So, guys. Every time you see a fur or something, once again, I defend furries with all my might because... I have made great experience with furries. So, this is a story from an anime convention, Fancy Basel 2019. When I was... That was the second time I traveled with my cosplay across Switzerland. So I was in my Natsu cosplay, pink hair, going to the train station and going to Basel, right? You lied to me. And I was uh, obviously stand look standing out a little bit with my pink hair and cosplay of Natsu. But all in all... Wasn't too bad, right? So, my friend was in the cosplay, but we traveled there to Basel. First, we went to the uh, hotel, and then at the reception, they told us, hey, we hey, don't have a room for the next, like, I don't know how many minutes thing to clean everything. And so, we were at the reception, and out of nowhere, there, there was a girl. A girl in a cosplay. And if you don't know fairy tale, Natsu is like a waifu. And his waifu is um, Lucy. And there was like a girl, good cosplay, Lucy. And she walked up to us, like really nice girl, happy, really charismatic. And she was like, hey, Natsu. I was like, hey, Lucy. <laughs> but that's cool. And we talked with like, she had a girlfriend, like she had a friend as well, a female friend. And that was cool. We were two boys, two girls. And we, they asked us um, like, they, we talked a little bit and then they asked us, hey, if we need to wait, we can wait in their room. And so we did. We were in their room and the other girl, haven't talked about it yet. It was also, um, she wasn't cosplaying yet, but she had to change in the bathroom. And so I was waiting for the girl that was in the bathroom and my friend was uh, talking with the other girl somewhere. And so, you know... I'm a dance person, you know? So she was there. She was dressing up. And then in front of the bathroom door. She was like, um, hey, can you hold this for a second? I was like, oh yeah, for sure. Reached in there. Take take my arm out. And I'm holding a bra. So, uh, so I was holding a bra. And I was like, okay, never mind then. I had cool. <laughs> and <laughs> some say this is a sign, you know. Some say like this is like the, the hint that someone should take, you know. Like those, like the, the, the this is like like it, imagine like the main character. It's like the girl is trying to show. Oh yeah, there's like there's something. But I was like, I didn't do anything. I didn't realize. I was too innocent and everything. So I was just holding the bra. I waited until, I don't know, until she was done. But I think there was like a, a, a sign that she might be interested in me. I, I, uh, yeah, she was a beautiful girl, like, wow. And then when she was uh, done dressing up and everything, uh, out of the bathroom, walked, like the most, uh, how do I say this? She was naked. She was actually the opposite of naked. She was a furry. <laughs> and uh, so in front of me was now a furry little girl. Still beautiful, but um, yeah. she's just nice. Okay, so which like uh, we decided that we enjoy the convention together for the next three days. And we spent pretty much all the next three days all together. And <laughs> there were hints, you know. There were big hints. She invited us to a party or something. 
And I don't know why my friend is head edge and I, I felt like, nah, I'm not, we're not going then. But like they invited us and everything. And yeah, they're brawless under, I, I think. Yes. It's really hot in there. But um, like she told me right, many, many times when we were there, it's really hot in there. She always had to take off the hat and take it on. But it's like, it was like self made and everything. Really well done, like a really good fursuit. But um, I said, like, girl, she's, she was older than me. But uh, and throughout the entire convention, like, she gave some hints and I was too dense to notice. Like, uh, uh, only after the event, I realized, yeah, there were some hints. At the end, she gave me her, she gave me her phone number, you know? And I saved the phone number. I tried to write her. I, I typed her phone wrong, her number wrong. <laughs> I, 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 I mistyped the phone number. And I had no way of reaching out to her again. And that's how I lost <laughs> my biggest opportunity. Like, she was so nice. Like, she was absolutely nice. On the second day, she wasn't, she wasn't the entire convention with her. On the second day, she cosplayed someone from the Rarara. Ra. Like, the one that screams is, is Sakaya. I never watched her yet, the Rarara. Ra. Like, the, she had, like, orange hair in a suit, and she always, like... I don't know. Sayo or something, she said, was the main line. Also. I don't know. But, yeah. She's a cosplay. Yeah, something like that. And, like, she was super, super nice. If you watch this, you probably don't. You were great. And, yeah. Also, hey. Another sign which I haven't told about. Like, she was like, hey, um, I'm going to make a tattoo today. Will you be by my side? And I was like, yeah, I can do that. So then she she asked um, if I can hold her hand. So I said, yes. And then she said, maybe you shouldn't hold my hand. Because... If it's painful, I will use my nails. Their thing. So, um, we were holding hands first. First, really cute holding hands with the girl. She's sitting, she's lying on the, on the, on the tattoo table. And I was like there right next to her holding her hand. And then, he started. And that girl, you don't know. You don't know how, how painful this is. It was more painful for me than for her. I guarantee you that. So, she had like, no, decent long nails. And when it hurts, she's squeezing her hands like so much again, like she's grabbing it and she, she literally thrusted those nails in my hand. Like I was bleeding and it's, women are dangerous, I'm telling you that. And <laughs> yeah, so she made her tattoo, like for an hour I was there bleeding uh, <laughs> from her and yeah. But uh, that's... Like my convention story, I would say, which I think I remember the, the yeah. How the fuck do people hold hands? Like first we were holding hands normally, but um, then she started to like using her nails, and then I had to obviously readjust the position so it's so she she is going more into the flesh and into my bones. It's actually an interesting story if you think about this. <laughs> but yeah, that was one of my first uh. Oh. One of my first cool convention stories I, I've experienced. Like, there's a few other ones I could tell, but I can save this for later.